Hello friends. Today we are going to work on WhatsApp Business API platform. WhatsApp posted their cloud API for your businesses. We are going to work in ASP.NET MVC. So you can find my code on GitHub after this tutorial. So now we are going to start it. First of all, we are going to open WhatsApp Business API Cloud API documentation provided by Meta for developers. Open this page and click on Get Started. You will find all the information required for your development. First of all, you need to configure few setups. You will get a number of videos on the YouTube set up the account. Here are the steps how you will set up the accounts. I have already set up account for WhatsApp business. Let's recap it. Click on register meta developers. It will open your Facebook account. If you have business one, then no problem. If no, then Facebook will create a business account for you. Click on create apps. Here you have to click on business. Then next. You need to provide a business name. I am going to provide test API. Then need to click on create button. Here you will put your password. After entering your password, you will redirect to add product to your app. Here you have to click on WhatsApp. Click here. If you have your business account, then select one, otherwise leave it blank. I am going to select my business account and press the continue button. After setting up everything, you will get your access token here. You will get a phone number. You need to add a test phone number here. Here is your template and the documentation. Now everything is set up. Let's start our project. In the documentation, look for send a text message. You will find a code here. We are going to use this code in our ASP.NET MVC C Sharp application. So let's start and see how we are going to configure it. Open your Visual Studio and create a new project. I am going to create a new application, ASP.NET standard application and going to hit next button. Make sure you have selected your C Sharp language. Give the name to your project, WhatsApp Business Cloud API integration. You may give any other name which you would like. Click create. Select the MVC template. I don't want to make HTTP request. Click create. In a few minutes you will see ASP Donut project here. Now you can see that your MVC project has been loaded in your solution explorer. Go to the project, add a folder, name as code. Click on the code, add a new class, name as WhatsApp. Make this class static. Now we are going to hit WhatsApp Business Cloud API. So we need to, so I am going to add NuGet, click on Browse, search for REST Sharp, click on this and install. Go to your class and add a static message to send messages. Now here we are going to code for WhatsApp API. You have token available in your business API. Click on WhatsApp, getting started. Click on copy your token. Token is confidential, so I am not going to show you that token. WhatsApp work on template basis. So if you want to create or change the template, you can click here. Here 
you will find the predefined templates or you can add new one by default whatsapp uses hello world template click on this template and see what is inside this message is going to send by the whatsapp test message you can create your new one click on cancel create here you can create any type of template cancel it i am going to show you one like sample issue re resolution template in this template you can pass you can pass a parameter from your code let's see how it work now create one more class for models we will handle the response and the request by these models add a new class give it a name whatsapp data model and add it now we need to add some properties here i am going to copy paste it from my other project for the time being i have added all the required properties for payload and response you will find these all properties on my github repository now let's start coding in our whatsapp sender first of all define the base url provided by the facebook you can find this url here now define the rest client and assign this url to that after that set up the request method that now request method is post and name of method is messages now assign the authorization header the token provided by the facebook and set up the content type initialize the language class model that we have designed previously and assign the language in which you have created your template after that we need to pass some parameters that template required pass those parameters to the template and go ahead 